Johannes Eugenius Bulow Warming, the 3rd of November 1841 to the 2nd of April 1924, known as Eugen Warming, was a Danish botanist and a main founding figure of the scientific discipline of ecology. Warming wrote the first textbook 1895 on plant ecology, taught the first university course in ecology and gave the concept its meaning and content. If one individual can be singled out to be honored as the founder of ecology, Warming should gain precedence. Warming wrote a number of textbooks on botany, plant geography and ecology, which were translated to several languages and were immensely influential at their time and later. Most important were Plantisamfund and Handbog i den Systematiske Botanik. Topic Early life and family life Warming was born on the small Wadden Sea island of Mondo as the only child of Jens Warming 1797 to 1844, parish minister, and Anna Marie von Bülow af Pluskau 1801 to 1863. After the early death of his father, he moved with his mother to her brother in Veli in eastern Jutland. He married Joanne Margrethe Jespersen, known as Hannah Warming, 1850 to 1922, on the 10th of November 1871. They had eight children. Marie, 1872 to 1947, married C. V. Preitz, Jens Warming 1873 to 1939, who became a professor in economy and statistics at the Royal Veterinary and Agricultural University, Fro 1875 to 1880, POVL 1877 to 1878, Svend Warming 1879 to 1982, engineer at Burmeister and Wayne Shipyard, Ing 1879 to 1893, Johannes 1882 to 1970. Farmer and Louise, 1884 to 1964. External link: Ancestors and descendants. Topic: Education and career. He attended high school at Ribe Cathedral School and commenced 1859 studies of natural history at the University of Copenhagen, but left university for three and a half year 1863 to 1866 to act as secretary for the Danish paleontologist Peter Wilhelm Lund, who lived and worked in Lagoa Santa, Brazil. After his return to Europe, he studied for a year under K.F.P. Martius, K.W. Nageli and Ludwig Rattelkofer in Munich and, in 1871, under J. L. von Hanstein in Bonn. Later in the same year 1871, he defended his Doctor of Philosophy thesis at Copenhagen. The professorship in botany at the University of Copenhagen became vacant with the death of A.S. Orsted and Warming was the obvious candidate for a successor. However, he was passed over and the chair given to the older, but much less productive and original Ferdinand Didrikson. Warming then became docent of botany at the University of Copenhagen, the Polytechnic Polytechnis Glorinstalt, and the Pharmaceutical College 1873-1882. He became professor in botany at Stockholm's Hogskola later Stockholm University 1882-1885. As the eldest professor, he was elected rector magnificus. In 1885, he became professor in botany at the University of Copenhagen and director of the Copenhagen Botanical Garden and held these positions until his retirement on 31 December 1910. He was Rector Magnificus of the University of Copenhagen 1907-1908. He was a member of the Royal Danish Academy of Sciences and Letters from 1878 to his death. As such, he served on the board of directors of the Carlsberg Foundation 1889-1921 and, because a biologist, on the board of the Carlsberg Laboratory. He also served on the board of the Geological Survey of Denmark 1895-1917. Eugen Warming was a frequent visitor to foreign universities, e.g. a travel to Strasbourg and Paris in 1876 and another to Göttingen, Jena, Bonn, Strasbourg and Paris in 1880. He participated in several Scandinavian scientist conferences between 1868 and 1916 and in the similar German meeting in Breslau in 1874. 
He joined the International Botanical Congresses in Amsterdam 1877, in Vienna 1905 and in Brussels 1910 and was president of the Association Internationale des Botanists 1913. He attended the Linnaeus Celebration in Uppsala 1907 and the Darwin Celebration in London 1908. He was Honorary Fellow of the Royal Society in London, was elected member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences in 1885 and Honorary Member of the Danish Botanical Society. He was a corresponding member of the Botanical Section of the French Academy of Sciences. He was made Commander First Degree of the Order of the Danbrog, Commander of the Royal Victorian Order and the Brazilian Imperial Order of the Rose. He is buried in Assistance Cemetery in Copenhagen. Topic: <inaudible> Expeditions. 1863 to 1866, Brazil, Lagoa Santa. 1884, Greenland Phila Expedition. View images on arcticsbilleter.dk. 1885, Norway, Finnmark. 1887, Norway, Dovre 1891–1892, Venezuela, Trinidad and the Danish West Indies 1895, Faroe Islands In addition, shorter visits to the Alps and other proximate destination Plantisamfund O Ecology of Plants the book Plantisamfund was based on Warming's lectures on plant geography at the University of Copenhagen. It gives an introduction to all major biomes of the world. Warming's aim, and his major lasting impact on the development of ecology, was to explain how nature solved similar problems drought, flooding, cold, salt, herbivora, etc. in similar way, despite using very different raw material species of different origin in different regions of the world. This was a remarkably modern view, completely different from the merely descriptive floristic plant geography prevailing during his time. Warming, E. 1895 Plantisamfund, Grundtrack AF den Ökologiske Plantageographie. P. G. Philipson's Vorlag, K. Jobenhaven. 335 pp. The subtitle alludes to the title of the book Grundtrack AF den Allmindelige Plantageographie, published in 1822 German eden 1823, Grundzüge einer Allgemeinen Pflanzengeographie by J. F. Schau, co-founder of the scientific phytogeography. Plantisamfund was translated to German in 1896 as Lehrbuch der Ökologischen Pflanzengeographie, eine Einführung in die Kenntnis der Pflanzenverein by Emil Knobloch. Berlin, Gebruder Borntrager, 1896. 412 pp. This edition, which was approved by Warming, rapidly ran out of print. A second, unauthorized, edition was issued during 1902 by Paul Gravener, who put his own name after Warming's on the book's frontispiece, despite no changes to the contents. Lehrbuch der Ökologischen Pflanzengeographie, eine Einführung in die Kenntnis der Pflanzenverein, Nach der Neusten Literatur Vervollstandite Bei Paul Gravener, Berlin, Gebruder Borntrager. This edition was expanded in third and fourth editions. Warming, E. and Gravener, P. 1918, EUG. Warming's Lehrbuch der Ökologischen Pflanzengeographie, 3 ed., Berlin, Gebruder Borntrager. 4th edition 1933 1158 pp a polish translation of plantisamfund from Knobloch's german translation appeared in 1900 warming e 1900 zaburowiska roslin zaris ekologische geographie roslin by edward strumpf and joseph trzebinski warsaw 1900 451 pp. Two independent Russian Moscow and Saint Petersburg editions appeared in 1901 and 1903. Varming, E. 1901. Ökologiska geografia rastenij vivideni v izaseni rastitelni subshistivi by M. Golenkin and W. Arnoldi. Moskva, 542 pp. Varming E. 1903, Raspredleni Rastenij v Zavisimosti Otvinsni Uslovij Echologiseska Geografia Rastenij by A. G. Henkel and with a treatise of the vegetation of Russia by G. I. Tanfilov. 
St. Petersburg, 474 pp, an extended and translated edition in English first appeared in 1909, Warming, E. with M. Vol. 1909, Oecology of Plants, an introduction to the study of plant communities by P. Groom and I. B. Balfour. Clarendon Press, Oxford. 422 pp, 2nd EDN 1925, the German ecologist A. F. W. Schimper published Pflanzengeographie auf physiologischer Grundlage in 1898. This work not only covered much of the same ground as Warming did in 1895 and 1896 but in fact also leaned heavily on Warming's research. Schimper 1898 quoted extensively from more than 15 of Warming's works and even reproduced Warming's figures. Yet nowhere did Schimper acknowledge his profound debt to Warming, neither in the list of picture credits, nor in the acknowledgments section of the Vorwort, nor in his list of major sources, and not even in a footnote. Although replete with Warming's data, it contains few ideas and did not advance ecology beyond what Warming had done earlier. Topic. Warming as a teacher Warming was a skillful and dedicated pedagogue, whose presentation of the subject was useful far beyond his lecture theater in Copenhagen. He wrote a number of botany textbooks for the university level, as well as school books. Topic. Handbook of Systematic Botany Warming's textbook on systematics for his lectures of botany in Copenhagen appeared in several editions and was translated to German, Russian and English and used in foreign universities. Warming, E. 1878 Handbog i den systematiske botanik Neermis til Brug for Universitets Studerende Aglarieri. Copenhagen. 2nd EDN 1884, 3rd ed. with algae by N. Will and fungi by E. Rostrup 1891, German EDN. 1890, Handbuch der Systematischen Botanik by E. Knobloch 2nd EDN 1902, 3rd EDN 1911, 4th EDN 1929 all by M. Mobius. Russian EDN 1893, Systematica Rastinij from the 3rd Danish EDN by S. Rostovzev and M. Golenkin, 2nd EDN 1898. English EDN 1895, A Handbook of Systematic Botany by M. C. Potter, several editions, latest 1932. The section on seed plants was later expanded and issued as Warming EUG. 1912 Fro Spermatophyter translated title Seed Plants Kjabenhaven Geildendelski Boghandel Nordisk Forlag 467 pp 2nd EDN 1933 The sections on spore plants were updated and published separately as Rosenvinge L Kolderup 1913 Sporplantern Cryptogamon Kjabenhaven, Geildendelski Boghandel, Nordisk Forlag. 388 pp. Topic. Handbook of General Botany Warming's textbook on plant morphology, anatomy and physiology was translated to Swedish and German. Warming EUG. Den Allmindelige Botanik, N. Larabog, Neermis till Brug for Studerende og Lariri, translated title, General Botany. Kjabenhaven, 1880. 2nd EDN 1886, 3rd EDN by Warming and Wilhelm Johansson 1895, 4th EDN by Warming and Johansson 1901. Swedish EDN 1882, Larobach i Allmän Botanik by Axel N. Lundström. German EDN 1907-09, Lehrbuch der Allgemeinen Botanik from the 4th EDN, by E. P. Meinick. Berlin, Borntrager. 667 pp. Also, Warming's schoolbook on botany was used abroad. Warming EUG. 1900 Plantelivet, Lehrerbog i Botanik for Skoller og Seminarier translated title, Plant Life. Copenhagen. 
2nd EDN 1902, 3rd EDN 1905, 4th and 5th EDNS by C. Ronkayer and Warming 1908 and 1914, respectively, 6th EDN by E. Warming and Joes. Boyer Peterson. English EDN 1911, Plant Life, a text book of botany for schools and colleges from the 4th EDN by M. M. Relling and E. M. Thomas. London. Russian EDN 1904. Rastany i ego zin nikal na from the second EDN by L. M. Krekatovic and M. Golenkin. Moskva. Dutch EDN S 1905, 1912 and 1919 Kern der Plantkunde by Dr. A. J. M. Garjan. Topic. Excursions Warming felt a strong need to take students of botany out of the lecture theater. He used the botanic garden to demonstrate live plants, but to teach plant ecology he needed students to get out in nature. The action radius from Copenhagen offered by trips by foot was far too small, however. He applied to the government and obtained a grant to take students on longer excursions every year from 1893. Every third year these went to western Jutland, once to Bornholm, otherwise to Zealand. His excursion notes were published and are instructive introductions to the environment and plant adaptation in dunes, salt marshes and other habitats. Warming, E. 1890, Botaniski Excursioner 1. Fra Vesterhavskesens Marskegna. Vedenskabelage Metalelser fra den Naturhistoriski Forening i Kajabenhaven 1890. Warming, E. 1891, Botaniski Excursioner 2. De Samophile Formationer i Danmark. Vedenskabelage Metalelser fra den Naturhistoriski Forening i Kajabenhaven 1891-153-202. Warming, E. 1891, Botaniski Excursioner 3. Skaridso. Vedenskabelage Metalelser fra den Naturhistoriski Forening i Kajabenhaven 1891. Equals equals further scientific works of E. Warming equals equals. Topic: Plant systematics. His early experience with vegetation in a tropical region was decisive for his future work. His collections from Lagoa Santa, 2,600 plant species, of which some 370 turned out to be new to science, were treated in a monumental 40-volume and 1,400-page work, Symboli ad Florum Brasilia Centralis Cognoscendum. For this work, Warming farmed out plant families to more than 50 plant taxonomists, mainly in Europe. Symboli ad florum Brasilia centralis cognoscendum, particularly 1-10, 1873. Symboli 11-20, 1875. Symboli 21-30, 1886. Symboli 31-40, 1893. Symboli 31-40, 1893. E.g. Particula 39, Enumeratio Merticiarum Brasiliensium by Hallmar Kiersku, they were all published as volumes in the series Vedenskabelage Metalelser fra den Naturhistoriski Forening i Kajabenhaven. In addition, Warming treated the families Vokiziaceae and Trigoniaceae for the Flora Brasiliensis Vokiziaceae et Trigoniaceae. Flora Brasiliensis, Eichler, A.G. ed. Volume. 13, Part 2, FASC. 67, Column 16 116. Monarchy, 1875. His favorite plant family, Etudes sur la famille des Podostmaces. Warming held a special interest in the family Podostmaceae, with which he had become acquainted during his stay in Brazil. The plant species of this family are extremely modified by the harsh environment in which they live, they are angiosperms that resemble liverworts. Warming, E. 1881 Familian Podostmaceae, Etudes sur la famille des Podostmaces, Part 1 v. 
all published in Kongelij Danski Videnskabern Selskab Skrifter, Nattervidenskabelig og Mathematisk Afteling, 6. R.K. Topic Lagoa Santa Having finished the taxonomical work, Warming finally published his ecological study of plant communities in the Lagoa Santa area, with Cerrado as the main vegetation type. Warming, E. 1892 Lagoa Santa, et bidrag till den biologiske plantageographie met en fortegnelse over Lagoa Santa's verweldier. Kongelige Danske Videnskabern Selskabs Skrifter, Nattervidenskabelig og Mathematisk Afteling, 6. R.K., Vol. 6 153–488, Warming issued a lengthy summary in French 1893, Lagoa Santa Etude de Géographie Botanique. Review Générale de Botanique 5 145–158, 209–238, 239 Portuguese translation, Warming, Eugenio Lagoa Santa, Contribuição para a Geografia Phytobiologica, by Alberto Lofgren Belo Horizonte, 1908. This edition was augmented by the Brazilian ecologist M. G. Ferry with more recent research on the Cerrado system and reissued as, Warming, E. and Ferry, M. G. 1973, Lagoa Santa, a Vegetação de Cerradas Brasileiros. University of Sao Paulo. Topic: Organogenetic studies. Early on in Warming's scientific career, the morphological organogenetic point of was the leading principle in botanical research, and he soon became one of the most prominent workers in this branch of botany. His main works from the early period are his thesis on floral development in euphorbia and on seed plant ovules. Warming's doctoral thesis in Danish dealt with ontogeny of the cyathea of euphorbia Euphorbiaceae. Warming, J. E. U. G. B. 1871. Kopenhose Vortemilken and Blomist Eller and Blomsterstand? N. Organogenetisk Morphologisk Underzogels. French summary, La Cyathium de L. Euphorbia est il une fleuro une inflorescence? K. Jobenhaven, G. E. C. Gad, part of the work was published in German the year before the thesis. Warming, E. 1870. Uber die Entwicklung des Blutenstandes von Euphorbia. Flora 53-385-397, his studies of pollen and anther formation i angiosperms and on the inflorescence of Asteraceae were published in von Hanstein's Botanische Abendlungen. Warming, E. 1873, Untersuchungen über Pollenbediende Phylom und Kaulom. Botanische Abendlungen aus dem Gebet der Morphologie und Physiologie, 2, 2, 1-90. Warming, E. 1876. Die Blut der Kompositen. Botanische Abendlungen aus dem Gebiete der Morphologie und Physiologie, 3, 2, 1 167. His studies on seed plant ovules were published in French as Warming, E. 1878. De l'ovule. Analyse des sciences naturelles, botanique et biologie végétale serre. 6 to 177 minus 266. All these works are still cited in scientific papers by scholars of botany every now and then. Through the 1870s, Warming became much influenced by Darwinism. The scope of his research changed. First towards understanding ontogenesis in the light of a common descent as seen in De Lavule, later towards plant adaptation to environmental conditions. Again, his unparalleled ability to observe plants paired with his tropical experience was decisive to the route he chose. Topic: <laughs> Plant life form. Although Warming did not coin the term life form until 1895 in Plantisamfund CH 2, he commenced work on plant life form already during his Stockholm years. In the paper Warming, E. 1884, Om Scudbeening, Overventuring og Foring Else, translated title, On Shoot Architecture, Perennation and Rejuvenation. Naturehistorisk Fornings Festskrift, 1 105. 
Line drawings, he presented a classification based on longevity of the plant, power of vegetative propagation, duration of tillers, hypogeous or epigeous type of shoots, mode of wintering, and degree and mode of branching of rhizomes. The observation were made while raising wild plants from seed under garden conditions. In the late 1880s, after Warming's return to Copenhagen, he swapped research topic with his student Christen Ronkayer, who had travelled along the North Sea coast from Jutland to the Netherlands and published on the phytogeography of coastal vegetation. Warming now worked on plant adaptations in dunes and salt marshes, while Ronkayer studied the morphology of Danish plants, eventually leading him to his plant life form scheme. Nevertheless, after Ronkayer had published his life form scheme, Warming returned to this topic in the work Warming, E. 1908, Om Plantarigets Livesformer, translated title, On the Life Forms in the Vegetable Kingdom. GEC GAD, Kobenhaven, Warming's new scheme was less simple than Ronkayer's, taking other environmental factors than wintering into account, especially water, drought stress. Warming did not approve of what he saw as oversimplification in the Ronkayer scheme. Warming's last published work was a renewed attempt to put all plant including bacteria and algae life forms into a system. Warming, E. 1923, Ökologins Grundformer, Udkast Till and Systematisk Ordning translated title, Fundamental Ecological Forms, Draft for a System. Kongelich Dansky Vedenskabern Selskab Skrifter, Nattervedenskabelig og Mathematisk Afteling, 8. R.K., Vol. 4-120-187. Greenland, Iceland and Faroe Islands Warmings published a number of treatises based on his expedition to southwest Greenland in 1884. One of the most important ones is his observations of the vegetation of Greenland and the history of the flora, Warming, E. 1887, Ohm Gronland's Vegetation, translated title, On the Vegetation of Greenland. Metalelser Ohm Gronland 12-1-223. A summary was published as, Warming, E. 1888, Uber Gronland's Vegetation. Engler's Botanische Jarbuker, 10. Following the publication of this paper, Warming entered a dispute with A.G. Nathorst over the history of the flora of Greenland. Warming's collections of leaves, stems, and flowers, made during the brief expedition, were examined in detail and the anatomy of a number of species described in a series of papers in Danish. Later, Warming distributed the material family wise, now ameliorated with collections made later expeditions and elsewhere in the Arctic, to students, who made further investigations and published the results in English. Warming, E. ed., 1908-1921 The Structure and Biology of Arctic Flowering Plants. Metalelser Ohm Gronland Vol. 36-1-481 and 37-1-507. Warming, E. ed., 1901-1908 Botany of the Pharaohs, based upon Danish investigations, Vol. 1-3. Copenhagen and London. Rosenvinge, L. Kolderup and Warning, E. eds. 1912-1932. The Botany of Iceland, Vol. 1-3. Copenhagen, J. Fremont. Continued in Vols 4-5 edited by Johannes Grontvid, Ove Paulsen and Thorval Sorensen, full text of Volume 1 Part 1 and Part 2 and Volume 2 Part 1. Topic Vegetation of Denmark Warming, E1904. Bidrag til Vedernes, Sandines og Marskens Nature History with contributions of C. Wessenberg Lund, E. Ostrup and C. Kongelige Danske Vedenskabern Selskab Skrifter, Nattervedenskabelig og Mathematisk Afteling, 7. R.K. 221-56. Warming, E. 1906. Dansk Plantevekst, 1. Strandvegetationen, Geildendelske Boghandel Nordisk Forlag. Beach Vegetation, Warming, E. 1909. Dansk Plantevekst, 2. Klittern, Geildendelske Boghandel Nordisk Forlag. Dunes, Warming, E. 1917. Dansk Plantevekst, 3. Skovin, Geildendelske Boghandel Nordisk Forlag. Forests. Topic. 
Warming's influence It was Eugenius Warming's Lehrbuch der Ökologischen Pflanzengeographie that must be considered as the starting point of self-conscious ecology. This book was the first to use physiological relations between plants and their environment, and in addition biotic interactions to explain the molding of the assemblages that plant geographers had described and classified, and it would set up a research agenda for decades to come. Despite the language barrier, Warming's influence on the development of ecology is remarkable, not the least in Britain and the USA. The British ecologist Arthur Tansley was extremely influenced by reading Plantisamfund or rather the 1896 German edition. Reading the book made him jump from anatomy to ecology. Tansley used the book as textbook in a university course as early as 1899. Similarly, Warming's book was decisive in forming the careers of North American naturalists like Henry Chandler Cowles. Cowell's now classic studies of Lake Michigan sand dune plant communities were directly inspired by Warming's studies of Danish dunes. Also Frederick Clements was much inspired by Warming when starting to working with succession, but more by Oscar Drude in formulating his concept of vegetational climax in his 1916 book. A more unexpected avenue of influence went through the American sociologist Robert E. Park, who read Warming's Oecology of Plants and used the ideas of ecological succession as inspiration for a notion of succession in human communities. A human ecology, Warming's influence on later Scandinavian ecology was immense. Especially significant was his inspiration to Christen Ronkayer, his pupil and successor on the chair of botany at the University of Copenhagen. In addition, he had a direct influence of Danish research, scientific and other, for a couple of decades. After his appointment to the professorship in Copenhagen, he gradually took over Japetus Steenstrup's power base, most notably as one of three members of the board of the Carlsberg Foundation for 32 years. Thus, Warming had the upper hand in whom should be granted money and whom should not. Topic. Warming and evolution Warming was a firm believer in adaptation. However, he was a declared Lamarckist. In his popularizing book Ned Stamningslaren The Theory of Descendants, 1915, he reviewed the direct and indirect evidence for common descent of living organisms and for Darwinian natural selection as a process involved in speciation. His keen observations of how differently the same plant is grown under different circumstances now known as phenotypic plasticity led him to question the change of species by infinitesimally small steps as advocated by his contemporary Darwinists of the biometry school, e.g. Carl Pearson. Warming summarized his view on the ways in which new species could may arise by inheritance of acquired characters by hybridization by natural selection, with the latter mechanism being the least important. Topic. Warming, religion and politics Warming was raised in a Christian Protestant home and he continued to be religious throughout his life. He accepted the evolution by descent of living beings, but believed that laws governing planets' orbits and other laws governing organic evolution were God-given. In his popular book Ned Stamningslaren, translated title, Evolution by Descent, he concludes the section on hypotheses about the origin of life writing that, no matter what hypothesis is considered, it just defers the grand question, how did life first come into existence, in the beginning, as if we human beings thereby obtained understanding and explanation for anything at all, or circumvented the almighty power that, incomprehensibly to our mind, must have created matter, force, time and infinite space. Science has not disproven the Bible that says, in the beginning God created. Warming shared this view with many prominent contemporary naturalists, e.g. Alfred Russell Wallace. Politically, Warming was national conservative, Scandinavist and anti-Prussian. 
Warming was able to visit his birthplace only a few times in his life because Schleswig was conquered by Prussia and Austria in 1864 and Northern Schleswig returned to Denmark in 1920. Warming expressed support, in letters, for France in the 1870 Franco-Prussian War. He made financial contributions to a secret fund that should support Danish-minded Schleswigian farmers in buying farms and prevent Germanization of northern Schleswig. In a letter of 1898 to his son Jens, he regrets that the Hajer, the Conservative Party, would lose an upcoming election and expresses concern that anarchy and socialism will eventually rule. Topic. Miscellaneous The orchid genus Warminga RCHB, F, and dozens of vascular plant species IPN has been named to his honor. The same is the case for a number of fungi, e.g. the smut fungus Microbotrium warmingi Rost R, Vanki and the gall fungus Arcticomyces warmingi Rost R, Saville. Warming Land, a peninsula in northernmost Greenland is named for him. Universidade Federal de Minas Gerais has organized a series of Eugen Warming Lectures in Evolutionary Ecology since 1994. See also History of Ecology Topic biographies and obituaries Rongkair, C. 1904 Biography in Dansk Biographisk Lexicon, Vol. 18 Urban, Ignatius 1906 Vitae for Warming in Flora Brasiliensis, Enumeratio Plantarum in Brasilia Hactinus Detectarum, Quas Sues Aliorumqua Botanicorum Studies Descriptas et Methodo Naturally Digestas Partum Icon Illustratas, Editirunt Carolus Fridericus Philippus de Martius et Augustus Julielmus Eichler, Iisk defunctus successor Ignatius Urban, FASC. CXXX Ultimus, Vitae ITINERAQUECOLLECTORUM BOTANICORUM etc. Obituary in Nature, 113, 683-684 by William G. Smith Obituaries in Botanisk Tidskrift, 39 L. K. Rosenvingay, E. U. G. Warming og Dansk Botanisk Forening, pp. 1-6 Carl Christensen, E. U. G. Warming, and Levnitz Beskrivels, pp. 7 30 C. H. Ostenfeld, Warming's Allmindelige Botaniske Verksamt, pp. 31 38 A. Mentz, Warming Somme Plantageographisk Forsker, pp. 39 44 Charles Flahalt, O. Jewell, C. Schroeder, and A. G. Tansley, E. U. G. Warming in Memoriam, pp. 45 56. Christensen, C. 1924-26 Den Danske Botanics Histori, Med Tilhorande Bibliographie. I. Den Danske Botanics Histori fra de Eldste Titer till 1912. 2. Bibliographie. Christensen, C. 1932 Eugenius Warming, pp. 156-160 and Meisen, V. Prominent Danish Scientists Through the Ages. University Library of Copenhagen 450th Anniversary. Levin and Monkgaard, Copenhagen. Muller, D. 1980 Warming, Johannes Eugenius Bulow. In, Gillespie, C. G. Ed. Dictionary of Scientific Biography, Vol. 16. New York, New York, Charles Scribner & Sons. ISBN 0-684-10114-9 Klein, Aldo Luis 2000 Warming e o Cerrado Brasileiro um Ciclo de Pois. São Paulo, UNESP. 156 pp. ISBN 85-7139-354-0